YouTube channel it is your girl Ntabdi and as you can see I got a special guest today she's gonna introduce herself while she finishes the other wine we were drinking <laughs> as I was finishing my water because I'm so parched uh, yes because remember guys we are responsible drinkers we've got our water here so don't forget that guys my name is what's my name which name am i using my name is zane i knew it <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. and i'm happy to be here with the beautiful tabelaine city yeah guys our my next president of south africa because right now the person that's in charge is lacking um, but y'all guys, my first guest on the channel, I'm so excited and I'm excited that we're back with Wine With Me. Oh, oh, before we get into the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends to tell a friend. Today on Wine With Me, we are whining about conventional relationships in 2022 no in the 21st century and i know you guys can relate because yeah it's not giving it's not giving what it needs to give and we think we need to do this but in our heart of hearts we need to do this and it's just a lot it's a lot okay so before we begin Obviously, we've got our wine. We've got Labori. Is that how you say it? Maybe, Maybe it's la Labori. Labor. Labori. 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 Wait, let me Google this thing. Gonna <laughs> look. <laughs> and it is the Merlot 2019, if that matters to us. Now, Kumbula, guys, we're going to tell you because in the good seasons that e wine tasting i don't know nothing about that we're just here to wine and wine oh ho oh. <laughs> oh. oh. you know and i don't know if you noticed but we do have <laughs> Sorry. We do have <laughs> new wine glasses and that's a story for another day. But we're here. We've got our wine. We're gonna let it breathe a little. Oh, it's red wine. So Damn! Let's let's keep it open. We're gonna let it breathe, swirl it around, do a little sniff sniff. What does it smell like? Remind me of wood. Is this what wood smells like? When it's wet. Wait, which wood? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, let's not get into that. As long as we enjoy the wine, we enjoy the conversation, what more do we need? Okay? Thank you. So, now that we've opened our wine, we have it poured. It take it actually it it does taste good. It really does. This is a serious -ish conversation because we are going through the most. As are we millennials? Are we gems? Wh which ones are we? Yes, I googled it because I was confused. And I think apparently we're millennials. I think so too. I think we are. I think nineties kids are min uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. are millennials. Um, but also, where does where does it start and end, girl? Yeah, but while she's looking for that, um, as 
let me say 90s kids because yeah can we call them 80s kids uh, eh. i'm a 80s Sina summer nineties kids. <laughs> oh, and debate though. I'm joking. I'm joking. Ooh. I'm joking. But like we're going through the most when it comes to umjol, the dating, you know? And there's so many things to say on the topic, but I think today we landed on, you know, what dating kind of means to us or what it could mean to us because we've grown up First of all, we've grown up and then the social media age has told us that or, or shown us rather that dating should be like this, should be like that. But musu bega when a self ubonuguti ah formula's not working. This doesn't sound like it's gonna work for me. And that's why we were just like, you know what, this is something to chat about because why are we all trying to date the same or rather why are we trying to be in relationships the same way because that's another thing dating and being in a relationship are two different things that's a different chat as well which we don't have to get into today but not even have the because dating is sogarism, but sogarism was um what's the word? You know how I put it, how dating is. You know, like when you're in grade eight and grade nine, you have to do all your subjects. And then in the matric, when you have to choose, then you're like, okay, because I've, I see all of these, this works for yeah, me, this was, exactly. my personality is here, yeah. or whatever. Now exactly. I can choose. Basically. So yeah, like that's, that's my thing where it's like, we're not the same people. Some people don't know how to date. And when I say they don't know how to date is that, it's almost like multitasking. They don't know how to multitask. They don't know how to talk to multiple people um, and get to know multiple people. Um, and however long that takes, they're okay with that. But mm. I think for a lot of us, because like it's so different, mm, not different, my bad. It's so difficult to, I don't want to say, keep a relationship or maintain a relationship but it's so difficult to really be like okay i'm gonna be with this person mm -hmm. just from the get-go and the get-go is like a period of one to three or one to six months mm -hmm. like you can't decide on a human being in yes. this time <clears throat> you yep. know so that's where dating comes in where it really helps to Put yourself out there, get to know multiple people, and then weed them out. Wait, isn't that what the gladiators do? Like you fall off? Okay, actually every game show does that. Oh, then they they, they choose the the thing in which you get. It's like it's it's like a league. It's like bachelorettes or bachelor. That's how it basically is. And the problem is for me, I feel like people confuse when you're dating. Personally, I believe if you're dating. You're not supposed to have sex with the people that you're dating. You're not? Girl. <laughs> dating and courting should be the same thing. Dating is courting. So you can date 10 men, which means you cannot have sex with those 10 men because you're not in a relationship with them. You're still letting them choose. Not No, you're still trying to choose. <laughs> letting them choose. I'll be damned if I let a man choose something. Me, I choose Anna, guys. Okay, you know who you but natural right? You know that that's the time when you, you, you get to figure out the person's ideas, ide ideologies, um who they are. First of all, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> you better get their medical records. Yeah. Figure that shit out, their health, any disabilities in the family, their financial status. That is all done during the dating stage. 
and you're not gonna ask them directly because they're gonna lie you must find a way everyone wants to be their best self you know definitely you know definitely um so stop to protect yourself stop the person to protect yourself but don't stop okay when you're dating you for me you can or cannot have sex mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's your prerogative um it makes sense that you would say that you don't but you can listen or not listen <laughs> Yeah, well, um, and then I think if you're like talking to 10, 15 people, by the time you get to three people, you can be like, okay, I'm like courting these people. You don't have to tell them. It doesn't have to be a thing where it's official, but you know, okay, and then from there. You can probably choose the person that you want to be with, and hopefully they choose you too. Also, in Ketile, no mood. Also, in Ketile, abo. How does the relationship go? One penny, one way, kinda. When I pass, I kinda. My stomach is turning. Okay. In this year, zio tino guti a relationship. Mele, and we're confused because we want equality, funny feminism, and all of that. Um, we want equality, but at the same time, we want to be a yebo baba. But at the same time, you're like, oh, I'm trying, God. You see, that's where I'm getting to where it's like there's all of these factors, and what annoys me is that it doesn't, it, it. All of those things, you don't have to even think about them. Mm. All you need to do is be like, this is the kind of person that I am. This is the kind of person that I want. This is the relationship that I want. In a relationship. And then you do your math your relationship mathematics and you make it work. Mm-hmm. But now but I just want to just interrupt you. I love how you brought that in because I was about to say Guti, majority of why relationships don't work is that we're not honest with ourselves. You're on un- you're not honest about who you are. They're not honest about who they are and what they want and what mm-hmm. you want mm-hmm. for each other. Because you find that sometimes I could say yes. I, I, I'm a person that loves going out, so I love people or whatnot. I'm, I'm I'm probably just saying that for face, only to find that like nine times out of ten during the week, I just want to be alone. You know. Yeah. Then maybe you find someone who likes going out. Now you're like, like they're they're, they're, they're they're really an extrovert. They're a people's person. They enjoy that, like for real, for real. And now when you're first met. That's the vibe they got. You told them, to, I'm, I'm, cool I'm cool with the grooves. I'm, you know. Then when you start dating, when you I'm dating someone, all group is dinner every weekend. And it's it's not that you're not a groovist, but when we groove is 30%, percent yeah, we groove is 90%. You see? You're right in saying that people aren't honest with themselves, which is what I was saying, Wuti. You're kind of putting up a front in the beginning of like the talking stage the dating stage and then sometimes you don't know when the right moment is to pull the curtain down or let that guard down and really be you and it's it's not that you're being fake um pause windows Okay, sorry guys, yeah. A call came in. Um, we're back. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so what Wow! <laughs> what I was saying was that um basically when we're trying to meet people, when we're trying to get into relationships, we are ourselves, but not really. We are Sasha Fierce selves, which is a lie. That's not the real you. <laughs> not the real you. Sasha Fierce is here. 
then the real use uh, uh, and i think what scares us is is that that uh, not that it's not entertaining it's not great um it's you it's your call it's, it's you and and if someone doesn't approve no, of your call actually, it's scary like actually you don't like me it's your everyday you dude but like the day-to-day when you're actually like with someone it's like oh damn like uzongbona nginge korait uzongbona nginga kezile ngo tu emini you need to take a dump uzongbona ngifuna ukuthatha idump ngenza idump ngiphume toilet kanuka all of those things you know what i mean and i think we've just been in a in a a world where we have to be perfect like we know that social media relationships aren't the the blueprint but we still kind of make them the blueprint like we want someone to buy us flowers take us out on dates um go on vacations and you personally you might like that and that's fine um but the other person who's looking at that who doesn't care about those things now thinks that they need to care about that getting in people's minds mina i realized uguti um like how you like you know when you're saying it's like talking every day like on social media like not just like if you're talking to a person every day like some people like talking to the people every day some people don't like it and then the minute now you don't like talking to your person every day like, oh my gosh do you not love them i man relax Jeez. yeah like yeah, like i think for me i i keep on changing i and that's allowed as well yeah i i want to talk to my person every day but i don't think the conversation has to have like this substance like i talk to my friends in like segments and that's okay. basically if i send her a message you're gonna reply in two weeks and i'm okay with it because i also reply in two weeks like that's what you're trying to that's how it must be like and yes it's gonna be different with your partner yeah um but you also shouldn't feel like you're entitled to them replying every minute of every day like if you or your partner have a message that's unread but you're posting whatsapp statuses there's no reason to get mad like they're gonna get to your message mm. it's just that oh my man jay like it's there like it's like insane that as well like i don't think also goes with the whole communication with it's like if the person says it's well, okay if the person sees what's okay i'm getting blue tick they're not happy about it state your case talk about it, communicate and say okay i'm trying to own blue tick except if there's another option like i always say that if you're not if you're not gonna have time to answer that message don't blue tick me just leave it as like that because now if you blue tick me i'm gonna block you <laughs> <laughs> block and reports <laughs> and i love wait <laughs> block and reports i'm gonna block and report you <laughs> No, it's not a problem. King. It's not a problem. Dude. Dude. It's not. But it's okay, not. Some reports, hell, I know, but, but let's not even get into that. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the one thing where it's like, okay, actually the communication thing is mm. like the, the basis of it. Mm. My friends, like a lot of my friends that I've spoken to and I've seen posts on social media as well where people don't want to live with their partners <laughs> or they do want to live with them but like but you want your space yeah so my thing is like i mean this is the basis of the whole video and i think the living situation especially um okay wait the living situation we still when you enter no, when, you when you're married no when you in a relationship and it's obviously very serious to yeah. a point where you're like okay let's move in together uh-huh. and then 
and then especially marriage. Okay. Okay. Um, I think a lot of us are very much in our space. We like our space. We like our solitude. We like just silence. And it's not even the silence because you're probably watching YouTube videos, Netflix, um, listening to music, but you're just on your own and you're in in that zone, mm, you know. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and you're like Sick funneling him entertaining the mood. Gi host a life in in Pilwen. Yabo. So I think a lot of us are in that space right or now. frame of mind where we're trying to normalize the thought. Because I don't know if anyone's actually doing it, but now it's just a thought where. And a lot um, of people are agreeing with it. Which yeah. means like. Yeah, but we we gonna have the same thoughts mm. like Sizo Fumela and Gendo, um, and like my my other friends will share the same sentiments, um, and people in your circle, people in your space share the same sentiments. They understand you when you say something. If they don't, it's just because that's their preference, mm. and you understand each other. But we do still live in a time where or or amongst people rather that just don't understand this new way of thinking and living mm. and that's the 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 living situation mm. of being in a relationship or being married where you either don't want to live in the same city or you want to live in separate houses in in the same city but mm. Um, in different suburbs maybe you want to be next door neighbors <laughs> maybe you want a, a house big enough where um, maybe there's a main bedroom and then there's your bedroom and their bedroom um, and you can just escape you know and I don't think that's weird I really don't. don't it makes sense it also goes back to the whole thing would see like your traditional like uh, marriages and whatnot. If, for example, the ladies come, like, let's say, for example, I'm married, and then the, my friends would come through, they're like, Oh, where's your man? He's like, Oh, he's in his man cave. Why can't I get a woman cave? It's basically the same thing. Like, for me, my woman cave is literally just a room where I'd probably have a TV, maybe some books, and obviously a bed. Maybe there's like a little couch by the window where I read my books, but it's just my, it's almost like having Reconnecting your, your, yourself. your own room, like the way you would have it at res or in your parents' house, um, where it's, it's your space. Mm. Like no one else really comes into there, um, because you've made it, you've tailor made it for you. Mm. And you go in there, not because you're mad at your partner, because that's another thing, Uguti. In movies and whatever, we've seen Uguti, oh no, he's sleeping in the other room or <laughs> in the guest room because you're fighting. No. You don't have to be fighting in order to have your own space. Mm. You literally just need to recalibrate or you're going through something that your partner might know about and you're like mm, but mm, over mm. Manje, Just, I think it gets more when especially when you have kids like as I think moms as well need like their own yeah moms yeah, need their own yeah, study. Yeah. You no know, no don't disturb dad is in a study. Hey don't disturb mom's just drinking it wine in her study. A patriarch in Jele Uguti Gunama man cave TV, Nama movie, Ektiwa, Dad is in his study, but she never hears about Don't ever go into Dad's study. Who, who, who is this man? Who is this man? 
We sound like men bashers. We're not men bashers. Or oh, men crashers. Girl. We're not. The term is misandry. Misandrists. Misandry. Oh, a misogynist is, it... is that is the men being. What is no, a no, misogynist? Because no. they're always throwing the word around these days. No, 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 misogynist. So there you go, throwing that word around. I don't know the actual definition, but I, I'm just going to say a misogynist hates women. <laughs> And then a misandry, a mis a misandry, misandry. I don't, hey, guys, English it depends English. if you're in America or UK or South Africa. Yeah, but it's it's. I think it's the equivalent of misogyny, and then patriarchy is is, is the fact that like so this, feminists this is, are misandrians, kind of. Okay, no, they no, come across as, as yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. Just got an Sorry, English guys. lesson. Just got an English lesson. <laughs> By the way, I love Philly. Shout out to Philly. You're feeling my heart. <laughs> I love that short man. Oh my gosh. Like the energy. Oh. Actually, Are you sorry? <laughs> Jeez. Now, now that you mention that, I feel like the Ian Gen and Alend. I told you in my previous video, Muti Mina Ingundoyan. So, the fact that she mentioned a short man. Hey! So, the the short man chat, the <laughs> younger man chat, and I say man because it's not something that applies to men as such. It, it more applies to... Um, it's frowned upon. I don't. I almost said heterosexual women, but I'll say women who date men. Um, so short men, um, young men, younger men, men with shoe sizes smaller than yours. Okay, that's me. I think. I think. I think that I made that group for me, and I have this thing. With, I can. Hmm. I can go with that group because, um, I have a shoe size that men have. I'll put it like that. So I'm the man of the house. Kali Sam is But we're the same size. Well then, what's gonna happen now? It's a bunny gets so cut. Yeah, let's let's take that out. Yeah, 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 that. yeah. Okay. So like I was saying, men that are shorter, men that are younger. Why don't we want to date them? Who said we mustn't date them? <laughs> okay, I mean, I've dated a shorter guy. I've, I've dated a younger guy. I know I haven't. I've had a playmate that's younger than me. And then when I found out that you... And that's another thing. You would see, you're no, vibing with that's someone. Not the same, it's not dating, it? that's the thing. Yeah. But that's the thing, would see... Like, we were vibing, it was so good, it was so nice. And then, I think, don't judge me, I don't know after how many, like, months I found out he was younger than me. Then I just had this thing. I don't know. I guess it's the same thing in that way. I was like, you still had the thing. Yeah, well, like, it wasn't really an ick, if I can put it Yeah, like it was just like, oh, but man. Like, oh, oh, okay. How, how many years younger was he? Like, who was this? Girl, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. And then a short guy, I dated a short guy, and then I broke up with him because I was like, I can't do this knowing my personality. Yes, I mean. So, I know for... I have too much ammo for an argument. First of all, why am I sitting on top of your head? You know? But, I, but, the, but, but the thing is, okay, okay. I dated him when I was still like younger, so obviously you know the older you become, the more wiser. But even now, nah, man, I still have that thing with you. You know how women are sometimes when they're like vindictive. Is that the word? No. But you know how women are when we you see we yeah, yeah we yeah, yeah so yeah yeah kind of. I don't want to put yeah. myself in that and put you in it as well, so I'd rather not. But that's my thing. You would see like I'm trying to have happy arguments. You you were with him. Mm. And you knew he was shorter. Yeah. But then at some point you were like, you're shorter. You know, and... And I'm like, I'm like a dominant woman. So it just makes it even worse. Like, and what are you shorty? 
Yeah. Listen here, yeah, boy. But I'm like, my thing is, usui valela matub. Hey, bitch. You know, I think yeah. Masis petale video. The the only thing is that communicate. Know yourself. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. Um. Don't don't judge other people. And what they want, what they need. I love it for the case of chips. And <laughs> <laughs> like the the whole point of this video basically was the fact that like conventional dating should not even be a thing mm. in the twenty first mm. century. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, in twenty twenty two going forward, even before twenty twenty two, but in twenty twenty two going forward, um, because it just it doesn't work, it does not work. Um, our personalities have evolved from that, and the things that make us happy actually matter now. It's not about being married. It's not even about being in a relationship. A lot of us are actually happy not being in a relationship. Mm. Um, and when we get into a relationship, it needs to feel the same as not being in a relationship. Yeah. Relationship is just supposed to, supposed to add to your happiness, not create your happiness. Yeah. And in adding that, you, you're tailoring it to what you need it to be and i promise you i like i believe this with all my heart so what he was on tolu mundu or also for me lana na le do it in guy yeah boo don't force people don't try to change people to become you wanna listen listen and it's not just to women you are not bob the builder yes you're you are not Dr. Phil to be someone's psychologist and therapist. People get paid to do that. Don't do that to yourself. You ain't trying to build people. You're supposed to get people that are already built and they're healthy for you. If someone's not healthy, they should not be in relationships. Relationships are meant to be easy. I believe that with all my heart. Relationships are not meant to be difficult. Um, they must flow like a water that turns into wine. And matures so nicely and it makes you feel good and warm inside that's on that period but i i totally agree with that um relationships literally they're not meant to be difficult mm. and don't be and scared to be alone that's another thing why people jump into don't be yes it I'll tell you something. It's scary to be single. It, it, it was scary. I, I think I've dated like most of my life. And then the moment I decided to be single, I got fucking scared. Which is what we're trying to point out is yeah. guys, don't get into a relationship it's because a journey. you're scared it's of a, being alone. It's a journey knowing what you want in a yes, relationship. Yes. Rather be alone, find yourself, than being in something where you feel trapped and you're not yourself. You know? True. True, true, true. Sing peta, sing gota, sing concluda. Guys, like she said, don't be afraid to stay single. I feel like there's a lot of revelation and a lot of um, epiphanies that come from that. Um, you can be single but still have playmates. And don't be afraid to, um, I don't know if I want to say live your truth or state your truth. So if you want something from, or, no, or rather if you want a certain kind of relationship, you want your partner that you're going to be with. Because remember we said, Wuti, like, Dating and being in a relationship is not the same thing. So when you're dating, you need to bring that up with him. Mina, from my partner, and 
not that you're not gonna compromise or waver on that because that's another thing about relationships you need to compromise but obviously there's a limit to compromising mm -hmm. so know exactly what you want and it, it's gonna change maybe day to day week to week month to month but it's okay because nami we're humans we're dynamic beings yes, things don't yes. stay the same like i know for myself like I haven't been in a lot of relationships, but I've learned from my own relationships that I have been in. I've learned maybe from my friends' relationships. I've learned from what people have posted on social media um, and been like, oh my gosh, I should look out for this and um, I shouldn't do this. And I, maybe I should expect more because I know that I want this, but I haven't been able to um express it because i'm like oh my gosh um no no nam um don't don't be scared to state what you want because it's your truth and even if you like someone you like their vibe you like the energy like and you want to continue getting to know them but mawusho wena ukuthi ngifuna lokho nalokho nalokho and they can't give you that and they can't even compromise on it. Like, you can't come to a middle ground. Respect their choice and what ways? Like, don't don't try and force it. What What is that going to do for you? No. That, that is what's going to make your relationship at some point unbearable. Because now you're unhappy because this person is trying to give you what you want, but it is out of their capabilities. Don't do that. Yeah. I just wanted to add to a point in terms of communication. I know there's a lot of people when it when it comes to communication, they can't you know how when you have so many ideas in your head, but you can't formulate the words. I've also suggested to other friends to sometimes write down all your thoughts. And, and read it out to yeah. your partner. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. need to remember. Because sometimes, I mean, I, I'm that person, like, I've got so many thoughts, and when I want to speak to you, I want to swear you. That's it. So I'd write down my thoughts. That's another form of, okay, if you want to lay out, this yeah. is what I want, this is what I want, you can write it down. It's ba it's basically like a rough, like, song is funded. It's a rough draft of an essay. It's not to say, you can't add to it. Mm. Writing it down reminds you, okay, this is what I wanted to say, but it's also a reminder to not get into the the angry part of mm. it where and you know, headlock, you know. So, okay. my closing thoughts. I mean, I be manning in a change. I'm closing thoughts as a buffet. I'm as no good in the nape. Even safety, even safety. Mental keep, health keep, keep your mental health safety, keep your emotional health safety, keep your physical health safety. <laughs> and who is number one? You are number one. So always look out for number one. Did I not say that in my previous video? Did you? I don't even think she she has watched it yet. Is this YouTube? Yeah. YouTube has ads, bruh, but I'm, I'm gonna watch your videos. But Dude, I, YouTube I literally, I literally said it in my previous video. And he like did a head bump like, oh. <laughs> I literally said, you need to look out for number one. I remember when you were saying the comments and I'm just like, she's saying what I'm about to say. Man, let me drink my wines. Drink your wines, be the girl, be the boy. And that's it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it went like this. Kind of. But, yeah, again, in my previous video. Previous video. I picked it up and I thought you were going to go smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> the wines are whining. <laughs> Stay away from alcohol, kids. I did say that my my brain just does other things, but nizwile let that decision. And that's all that matters. Yeah, nizwile futsi ngazu kuti nizorelate ngaz ngaz.
You put a good at the end of the day. Who knows how she took some woods? MP Luen, it was a stress in relationship from the match. So as a stress or relationship, a stress or a man, stress or a man, please, like, in relationship, like stress, please. Or if you express relationship, you won't be very bad. Stress or a man, please. Yeah, bro. Let's get the spread. Like I said, relationships should be easy. And the easiness comes with communication. Don't go. So, on that note, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell your friend to tell their friend to shake their boobs and their booty. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Okay. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs>